Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be looking at the Speedy B F405 V3 stack. Okay, so some of you may already have twigged that this video is a bit different to my normal content. This flight controller isn't for a fixed wing. So this is sort of a, a little announcement. I will be making some quad content in the future. The reason for this is I'm actually into flying quads too and I'm really enjoying it. So part of it is because I'm going on this journey. If I learn anything that might be helpful, you know, the whole reason for starting this channel really was to share uh, information that other people might find useful. Having said that, mostly this is still going to be fixed wing. It will be the occasional quad video. It's not going to take over, so don't worry about that too much. But I will be doing a build hopefully next year with iNav on a seven inch, which I don't really see many iNav videos on quads. So one of the reasons I wanted to get into this was to try and get a basic setup done for people using iNav. And I hope you guys are okay with that. Leave a message down below and let me know what you think. But anyway, the reason the reason I want to mention this flight controller is because I actually bought it for my quad. With fixed wing we're used to having some quite nice flight controllers from Maytech. Everything just seems to be where you'd expect it and the documentation is excellent. Now I've not really seen that with many other manufacturers but I was really impressed with this SpeedyB unit. Not only was it cheap, it well I say cheap, it was about £70 or $70 which you can see on the website now compared to other stacks is about 20 15 to 20 pound less so for value wise this is pretty decent but also the amount of features on here is, is pretty decent too what we're going to do is have a quick look at the website and then we'll get this out of the box and have a look now I do need to say that SpeedyB haven't sent me this at all. I bought it myself. So if it's crap, I'll say it's crap. Um, to be honest, if SpeedyB had sent me this, if it's crap, I'll say it's crap. Just so you guys know. To me, this, this sort of money with a 4-in-1 ESC is actually pretty decent when we can pay this much money for a flight controller which just basically has additional becks on it for servos. So... That does be sort of beg the question, are we pa overpaying for our fixed wing flight controllers slightly when it, this has got an ESC with it? The ESC alone is about $30, 30 pounds. So there is, that, there is that question there. But anyway, the, the thing that I was impressed with was not only the documentation, which is excellent on the website, but also the thought that's gone into the layout of this thing. Everything seems to be where you want it. So even to the point where there's additional LED pads in the corners for if you wanted to run LEDs or addressable LEDs on your, your arms. It can run eight motors if you wanted to do that, but obviously the ESC underneath is only for four, but it does have somewhere on here, yeah, motors five, six, seven, and eight. So you can add a second ESC and run eight motors with this flight controller. Down the side, there's actually a battery indicator. So when you plug your battery in, it will give you an, an indication of how well charged it is. This, these are all really nice little features that you wouldn't really think of. And certainly I've not seen stuff like that on fixed wing. So down this bottom section, it's, it's quite nicely thought out. We've got um, this section here, which is already laid out for a GPS. So we have our magnetometer pads. We have the UART with 4.5 volts or a run off of USB for setting up. We've got a main sort of LED pad here. This section is for VTX. We've got buzzers here. Um, and at the top, we've got like our camera, camera control. And up here, this is our receiver. Yeah, so we've got SBUS, standard UART, and power. Stuff is where you'd want it, really. Um, and also, there is a USB-C type connector. Oh, oh yeah, because it's speedy B, it's got speedy build built in. So I think this here is the antenna for connecting to the app. So setting up at the field is already built in. So that's why, you know, it's a pretty decent price when you're paying 70 for this. 30 is basically the ESC. So that leaves 40 roughly for the flight controller, which is, is not too bad but then there's a, a speedy b adapter built into that which is another what 15 dollars so you're you're effectively paying 25 pound for the flight controller oh yeah it's got a tvs diode as well which is which is very nice 
just help uh, prevent spikes. You get a huge capacitor with it. But this is what was impressing me. For actually wiring up is very sort of similar to how you'd see it laid out on the Matek website. So it actually tells you which connections to connect everything to with different options. So we've got SBUS, we've got ELRS, we've got Crossfire. The only thing that I see on here is there's no telemetry for the FreeSky receivers. Usually on sort of a Matek F405, it would automatically switch the uh, T2 pad to be soft serial, and then you can run that as telemetry back to your smart port. The other thing is, unless you're running inverted smart port, you can't really use the F port protocol. So it would have been nice if there had been like an inverted um, or a pad with a hardware inverter for smart port as well. Uh, if we look down a bit further, you've got all the LEDs. You can set a servo up if you wish on S9. Um, again, more LEDs, GPS port, the analog VTX, and also the air unit connections. So that's what these extra connections were for. I don't use DJI, so I didn't really know that, but yeah. So yeah, you can see the manual is pretty nice. It even goes so far as the connection between the flight controller and the ESC. So yeah, that was, that was what impressed me was this documentation and um, the layout, the, the actual thought that's gone into it. So let's take a look in the box now and see what we get for our money. Okay, so this is in a cardboard box, which I like, nice and recyclable, but also you can use it for storage if you want. QR code for the manual, which we've just looked at, which yeah, again, excellent. If you're not gonna provide a manual in the box, providing the QR code is awesome. So firstly, the first thing I've noticed is these rubber grommets are already installed, which, you know, some Maytech flight controllers that I've had, these have been an absolute pain to get in. So let's take a look at the ESC. And yeah, there's nice big solder pads. There are holes in there so you can slide your capacitor legs through the holes and then solder everything on. So yeah, brilliant. And again, sort of nice big pads for the motor wires and spongy squishy legs to sort of help with the vibration dampening which obviously you, you want to reduce on the flight controller but yeah i mean it's an esc the only thing that i've noticed with a lot of these so it's not just something on this is there's no sort of back on there for five volts basically what happened with this one was i i thought i'd killed an esc so i needed to replace that and i couldn't find any 35 amp escs so what I was going to do is put in a 4-in-1 ESC and then power the flight controller board from that. But none of these modern ones have got a 5 volt out, so you can't really power the flight controller from it. So that was a bit disappointing and that's why I sort of went down this route. But yeah, so there we have the ESC and here we have the flight controller itself. And again, you can see these nice squishy mounts in there, USB type C connector. And on the top, we have like the battery LEDs. We have a nice proper button for DFU if we need it. And all the pads are pretty decent size. The smallest pads on here are these sort of LED pads around the outside. And also these two pads in the middle there, which it looks like a data in and out. So we probably won't even need those at all. Yeah, the LED pads are repeated on the bottom if you want tidier wires. And then on the bottom, we also have the pinouts for this connector here. So yeah, it's, it's just very nicely thought out. It's well done, Speedy B. Obviously we have our arrow for forward direction and this is our ceramic antenna for our Speedy B app. But yeah, that's great. What else do we get? And what we get in the bottom. So we have our little connector cable here to go between the flight controller and the um, ESC and I'm guessing that this could be a cable for DJI. We get a little bag of bits so we get some we have a spare rubbery thing we have our capacitor with heat shrink already so this capacitor is a 1500 microfarad 35 volt. We've got some long screws for going through if your frame doesn't have long enough screws and we have some more little grommets and another spare grommet which i guess the top 
one is with the smaller top part is for the flight controller and the bottom part is for the ESC. And we also get a battery cable. You do get quite a bit for your money with this flight controller. I'm, I am impressed. So there my first thoughts on this flight controller. There's one thing I should note is, and that is at the moment, if you're using it with iNav, it doesn't actually support D-Shot on this flight controller. I believe this is something that is being worked on, but at the moment D-Shot is not available. That's the only sort of downside, but I will be putting this in a freestyle quad, so I will be running beta flight. My overall thoughts at this stage is, for the money, you're getting a hell of a lot of flight controller, and everything is laid out very nicely with an excellent manual. So if you're doing this as a first build, it would be ideal. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this type of content. Should I just stick with fixed wing or are you happy for me to indulge in yeah, the, the multi-rotor side of things every so often? Like again, fixed wing will be the main focus still, but I am enjoying this. And if I can help out other people, then that's what I'd like to do. But anyway, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You're still watching, so maybe you have been. Um, remember to click subscribe button and the bell icon to help get this video out to more people. And most of all, fly your models like you stole them. Have a great time, guys. Merry Christmas.